All right, this is a little better view of my compartment. Um, I took the first video when we were still in Penn, C Penn Central Station, so it was all dark, we were underground. Uh, this will give you a lot better idea. So I'm standing on the toilet, which I'll turn around and show you in a minute, but this is my private car. You can see my, uh, there's a little place to hold your, your luggage there. Um, there's the first seat, nice pillow. The seats are very comfortable. And there are a series of lights over, just sort of behind your head. On the left, you see a reading light. Directly behind uh, the, the, the large one, the large white one, is um, a pretty bright fluorescent light to really sort of light up the room. Over here, um, you see there's a series of coat hangers. Uh, those are some um, lighting controls there, the, the colorful buttons. There's a vent thermostat that controls your heat. Um, the air conditioning is just on all the time. You can close the vents, though. Uh, it's pretty easy to do that, and it shuts them off pretty effectively. Um, coming around, you can see, step down here, these are the air vents, and you see they're open, and there's a convenient switch. It just shuts them right off. Um, little uh, drink holders. You get a couple waters when you get on. Um, the table's pretty cool. Lift it up, and it just uh, folds down, and it's actually ready for uh, Chester Checkers. All set to go. Um, looking over, I'm going to sit down now. This is, uh, I'm facing forward, and you see there's another uh, another chair there, another seat. Um, that actually, uh, both the seats essentially sort of fold out. You might be able to see this, it's a little dark um, near the bottom, but uh, you see that it says lift for recline. So I'll try to do that in the video, but uh, the seats basically fold down to form a lower bed, and then as we look up, there's a track. The, the ceiling, it's not really the ceiling, it's a, an upper bed. Um, there's a switch lever there. Uh, you can raise and lower it when you're ready to, um, to get up into the uh, upper compartment, um, or upper uh, bed, I should say. So here, this is the, there I am. Um, this is the, uh, the sort of bathroom area of the car. Uh, everything's really, um, it's well designed, and it's all compact, but you have everything you need. Uh, get a couple bars of soap, fresh towels, some hand soap. There's some um, paper cups up here. Nice little towel holder, you know, washcloth holder. Um, obviously, the, the mirror light is on, and you can activate that up there, or there are a series of controls here. So that um, controls the light. Got a uh, two-plug uh, outlet there, and as you see here, folding sink, and there's your sink. Hot and cold water, um, some soap, works great, and totally convenient. Lock that. And below, uh, this is what I was standing on before, but every room has its own toilet, which is pretty nice if you're going to be in here for a while. I mean, nothing really fancy about it, it's just pretty much like an airplane toilet. Um, and if you want, you can stand up. I was standing on the toilet before, and then once you get up here to the second level, there is additional, if you can see this, a little dark, but there's additional storage for luggage, and I've got my, um, my laptop bag up there. Uh, I'm going to activate the, the bed control here. It's just a lever. It's pretty, pretty easy to, to use, and you just throw the lever, and the bed slides down and locks into place, as you can hear. And then once you're up here, um, there's a lot of space. There's it's a lot of space down below, particularly if you put the seats down. You could comfortably sit, even with this bed in the, the um, lowest position, which is what it's in now. Uh, sort of pan the camera around there. But up here, I mean, it's um, a good deal of space. There's the ceiling, and then, uh, you know, full uh, full windows. And of course your blinds, which you could close. Uh, but um, yeah, it's 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 very comfortable. It would sleep too pretty easily. And there's a little uh, toiletries holder um, attached to the wall. And they've also uh, put some little hooks in the ceiling. So if you've got you know a bag, you can um, you know hook it up there. I guess even a clothes hanger might work. Um, but that's uh, that's that. Here's our current view out the window. We're not moving too quickly at the moment. Um, we're just just outside of uh, New York City. So 
that's that. I'm just going to put the bed back into its full height, upright position. It's a little hard to do with just one hand. There we go. And now I'll try to uh, recline the seats, which I haven't done yet. Lift to re recline. Okay, so it just just pulls out slightly. Looks like you can also step on that. Well, it moves a little tough. I'm not going to really force it um, because I don't need to recline right now. Let me see if I can get the other one. There we go. Moves out a little bit. I don't think I've got these all the way because there's still a gap. But you get the idea. The beds basically roll down and then you're left with a... Um, or the seats roll down you're left with the bed. Got a nice view out the window right now, so I'm just going to pan that out there one more time. Um, and that uh, pretty much uh, wraps up the tour. If I wanted to shower, I'll show you that. They do have showers for everybody to use. And they're just at the front of the car. Coffee maker there. Um, so this is, uh, it's not ready right now, obviously, because people wouldn't be using them, but um, there's the uh, there's the shower. All right, well, that wraps up my uh, tour of my sleeping car in my little compartment. Um, I'm going to go back and actually uh, get a moment to enjoy it.